guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a Rimmel one brand tutorial and it is also a collaboration with my good friend Crystal Conti here on YouTube so today when I was filming this look Crystal was also filming hers but she filmed hers before I started mine and she sent me a picture of her look and then I was like your eye makeup looks really similar to mine. So we realized that we we're actually using the same eyeshadow quad today. So this is what it looks like right here. So our eye looks are going to be very, very similar in this collab video. I guess we probably should have talked about it beforehand, but oh well, it's done now. I did do a dark lip and Crystal did do a nude lip. So please make sure you jump over to her channel, watch her video, give her a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to her channel. All my social networks are always linked down below. So make sure you go follow me on those and let's get straight into the makeup tutorial. So I'm going to start by getting my hair out of the way. So I'm just going to use my headband and I got this from Colette for any of you wondering just because I do get asked quite a lot um, where I got this headband from. So this video is probably going to be a mix in between a voiceover and a talk through just depending how the sound goes um, outside and outside this room just because sometimes it can get a little bit loud in this house just because I do live um, with family so I'm just letting you know now just in case I kind of start doing a voiceover in between but anyway I'm going to start by doing my eyebrows I do apologize for what my skin is looking like at the moment I started using new skincare and I don't know if the skincare is actually doing this to my face I never get pimples like down here they're always usually up here so maybe it's hormonal I have no idea yes and I kind of scratched my face and now it's gone red. So we're just going to ignore that. So for my eyebrows today, I'm going to use the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit. And I believe it has a wax and a powder in it. So I'm hoping this color is going to be okay for my brows. So I'm just going to take the spoolie it came with and brush through my brows. I'm just going to start with the wax first and put this through my brows. So now I'm just going to go in with the brow powder and just start filling in my eyebrows. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned up this eyebrow with some concealer. I'm just using my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and I'm just taking a synthetic brush to clean it up. I still need to do this one. So this is what it looks like, but now I'm going to clean this one up. Okay, so my eyebrows are all done. So now I'm going to go in with the Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. So this color is a dark brown. So we'll see how it looks just because my hair has faded quite a bit. So hopefully my brows don't look too crazy dark. So I'm just going to take off the excess of this onto like a wipe um, just because otherwise it'll make your eyebrows really goopy and wet. So now I'm just going in with some concealer and this is the Match Perfection Concealer and I'm just going to pop this on my lids just as like a base for my eyeshadows. I'm just taking some of this Wake Me Up Concealer as well just because I feel like the coverage is a little bit better on it and I just want to conceal the color of my eyelids just because they're quite purpley and red and whatnot. So I'm just going to use that concealer as well. So to set my eyelids I'm just going to take the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour powder. So that's what it looks like. I'm just going to set those areas just before I go in with eyeshadow. So to start off the eyes, I'm just going to take this kind of face palette right here and I'm going to use kind of the bronzer in my crease as a transition color. So 
so this is the eyeshadow quad I'm using today. So I think I'm going to pop this on the center of the lid and kind of work the browns on the outer corner. And then obviously the light one I'm going to put on the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye. Um, so I'm curious to see how this goes and what it looks like. So now I'm going to go in with this brown and I'm going to work this within the crease as well. So I was having a bit of trouble with this color right here. It's just really not going on properly and the pigmentation is not that great with that color. Um, so I'm going to move over to this color right here and I'm going to put this in the crease as well and I'm going to see if it makes any difference to the eye look. I'm just having a lot of trouble getting the pigment to show up. Okay, so I spent a few minutes trying to blend out my eyeshadow. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get just because I really cannot get it to blend out and it's just sticking in certain places and I'm really not sure why. Like, look at this line right here. It's just sticking. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue anyway. I'm just going to take the middle shade, which is this one right here, and I'm going to put this all over the lid. I don't think it's really going to do too much, but you know, we're already halfway there. We may as well finish it off. So now I'm just going to take the black out of the palette and I'm going to work this on the outer perimeter if it does anything. Excuse the fallout all over my face. I'm going to clean it up afterwards. I just cannot be bothered right now. So now I'm going to take the shimmery champagne shade and put this on my brow bone and inner corner. So now I'm going to clean up all this mess on my face and then we'll come back and do liquid liner. Okay, so we're going to move on to liquid liner. I'm going to use Glam Eyes Liner by Rimmel. So I'm just going to do a winged liner. I've already done this side. Okay, so now we're going to go in with some mascara. I'm just using the Super Curler 24 hour mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. It's like full curved. So my lashes are kind of clumpy, so I'm just going in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. And I'm just going to separate them with this brush, just because it's really um, pointy. So it kind of really gets in there. So now I'm going to put on these lashes right here and then we're going to move on to the face makeup. Okay, so the first thing I'm going in with is this Insta Flawless. Apparently it's like a BB cream, but it's not. You can use it like under your foundation or you can use it alone. So I'm going to go in with this first and just see what it's like and what it looks like. But I do have a foundation I do want to use today. It would help if I didn't have like black stuff on my fingers, so my face is like going black. <gasps> that damn eyeliner. So for me, it's not really giving me any coverage anywhere. It just feels like a moisturizer. It feels really, really good, but um, I don't know. My skin is not that great today, as you can see, so I'm definitely putting a foundation over it, but it does feel really nice on the skin. So for foundation today, I'm taking my Rimmel Match Perfection foundation, and I do have a first impressions video on this foundation, so I will leave it linked down below. So I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to use a synthetic brush to start putting it on my skin. The color I'm using is 200 Soft Beige, which is quite tan, so it should match my fake tan. So now I'm going to take some concealer. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. And then I'm going to take the Match Perfection Concealer and I'm going to use this kind of to highlight. I'm just going to bring it right in here just to make my nose look a little bit smaller. So now I'm just blending it out with my beauty sponge. This is a Chi Chi beauty sponge. 
I'm also going to highlight my forehead, nose and chin and I'm just going to use the same concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder and I'm going to bake my face and I've never really done this before, like I just don't do it. So I'm going to use this powder today and I'm hoping it's not going to leave flashback on my face. Let's see how we go. I'm kind of scared just because after when I take photos, I'm scared it's going to look really shit on my face. <laughs> I can't believe I've never baked before. Like, it's just beyond me, I don't know. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of White Chicks when she's like, clean it up, Coco. So for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use the powder that I set my eyes with earlier. And I'm just going to put this everywhere else. So I don't even know how long you're meant to leave this on for, but I'm just going to wipe it off now, just because I feel like I look crazy. I've had it on for a few minutes anyway, so I'm sure that is enough time anyway. So to bring a little bit of shape back to my face, I'm just going to go back in with that kind of contouring, bronzing powder, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to start bronzing my face up. So for blush, I'm just going to use the blush that is in this palette right here. It's just a really beautiful, like, coral blush. And for highlighter, I'm going to take the highlighter out of this and just pop this on my cheekbones. So now we're going back to the eyes and I'm just going to quickly line my eyes just with this big crayon thing. I have no idea what it is, but I will list all the products down below. I'm just going back in with those dark brown shadows I used on my eyes. I'm just popping them down on the lower lash line. And I'm just finishing off with my Lash Accelerator Mascara. So now moving on to the lips, I'm going to use this lip liner and this is in the colour 105 under my spell. So for lipstick, I'm going to go in with this colour right here and this is in 810 One of a Kind. Okay guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this Rimmel One Brand tutorial. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and definitely go check out Crystal's channel. All my social networks are linked below and so is Crystal's video and I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!